Humans arrange things. Objects are moved to places where they belong. We organize and we feel a sense of satisfaction seeing things are in the right place. There's a comfort we feel from alignment. Objects of significance are often grouped together in a practical way to create an ease of access. Books on a shelf or records in a filing cabinet can be found based on their location in the system. We remember a piece of information and we travel to where it exists. A process forms where we're interacting with our organizational code to form time and space. This happens in a repetitive cycle at a frequency dependent on our thirst for knowledge and the task of survival. We see the grid as a means to a goal. We follow a routine to encapsulate an improved future or flee from an uncomfortable present. There's something of value out there. Maybe it's a piece of food, maybe it's rays of sunlight, maybe it's a formula to convert different units of measurement. But whatever out there has value, the life source kind of pushes us to go and obtain it. Once we capture something of importance, we have a desire to want to contain it. We want to hold on to what's important. We have libraries where we have accumulated and collected important information. We have banks, we have closets, we have stomachs and refrigerators. This is the storage of value. This is something that keeps us alive. There's a bliss from trust and containment, but there's also a seepage. Dogs hop over fences, lights guide traffic, but lights alone can't stop a collision. Words, stories, things we hear, things we see, bring us to question. Is there anything of value in what I just heard? If you think about a seed, you have a purpose for the storage of value. Living potential is collected by the parent plant and poured into the seed. As one life nears its end, a new life is about to unfold. And at that moment, we get a brief glimpse at something beautiful. A moment when a living thing releases its storage of value as a contribution to another life form.